Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, we had another 2008 Nissan Versa for today. And this car had a, again, as usual, it has a transmission problem. We tow this car. And let's go check what's the code. So let's connect my OBD scanner. That's it. Okay. So let's check the code. It's gone. This is Nissan. Actually, this car is uh, still running. It's just that it has a a sounds. I'm gonna let you hear it later. Just wanna show you the code. So it's Nissan. Manual select. So automatic. So read fault data. There you go. Oh, it's a solenoid A again. It's the most fluid. Very slow. Okay. This is the most common, like, common problem of this uh, Nissan Versa. So I'm just gonna let you hear the the sounds hear that oh, hear it right oh, I'm just gonna turn it off I wanna save this car so I'm not gonna run it for so long so what I'm going to do is, as usual again, just remove the pan, clean the filter, and you know, pour a fresh NS2 fluid. And I'm, I guarantee you, this car will gonna run again. So let's do that.
so you see this uh, pan look how dirty it is well look at that so 100% there's nothing wrong with the transmission it only had a you know a dirty transmission fluid look at this this car will run after we clean the filter then put a fresh CVT fluid this is the most common uh, problem with the Nissan Versa so we don't see any um, metal parts or fragments so if you see a uh, metal fragments in here and then that would be a different story that would be a uh, you know there should be uh, there's uh, something uh, worn uh, parts inside the transmission but uh, for this car I don't see any frag fragments at all it's just a sticky dirty fluid Now we are going to remove the filter. This is the filter. I think there's uh, one short of bolts. I think this is the one. Yeah. See this? This is the shortest, that's the shortest uh, bolts and then the rest, they are all the same. See how long it is. Oh, there you go. Let's remove the filter. I think there's one more. Yeah, there's one more there. Should be on. Okay. There you go. Whoa, whoa, whoops. Nice. I hope you could see this see this filter it's plug so there's no fluid going up to the transmission that causes the uh, code of uh, uh, fluid uh, pressure low this is the reason why plug filter and also there's one more one more filter that we are going to remove this one it has like uh, four bolts but we're using uh, allen keys oh boy it's not that tight Oh my god. There were like four bolts.
so I'm gonna show you what's the difference between the old old fluid that's the old fluid so it's almost black then it's the new one So this is the new one. Check. Oh shit. Look at the big difference. Showing that only like a dirty dirty fluid. So this trans this transmission is still good. We just need to clean the filter and again put a new fresh CVT NS2 fluid. So we are going to clean this two filter now and also the transmission pan. So I will be using this brake uh, cleaner. But you know, you can always uh, use any kind of uh, cleaner, degreaser or something. You can also use uh, water as long as when you put it back, uh, it should be really, really, really dry. Uh, I mean, I'm using this because it's, it's you know, it uh, dries so, so fast. It's a, a, a just a regular uh, brake cleaner. So let's clean this two filters. So it's already clean uh, but I'm still gonna blow this with uh, an air I had an air compressor in my garage so blow with air so all the small there's still some small black probably a, you know dirt So I wanna like remove all the dirt in here. Then after that we can just put it back. So let's do this with an air gun. put back all the parts so we will be putting this one the one in here Alright, there you go. The two filters are already installed. 
well uh, some of you might gonna ask why you don't torque it yeah you can torque it but for me I've done this you know a couple of times so I guess I'm comfortable yes you know tighten it using by by my strength or by hand tight so I'm not worried about it about the torque but please don't over torque this one I think this is an uh, aluminum so it might you know if you over torque too much it might get crack so just be be very careful be be very careful so yeah so Right, oil, I mean transmission pan, it's already been installed, now it's all tight, now we could put the CVT and S2 fluid. So we will be removing this, so we could gain an access over here, because this is where we gonna um pour the CVT transmission fluid so let's remove this so this is where we're gonna pour the CVT NS2 fluid where the dipstick is located so we will be using a long uh, funnel over here we will be using this a skinny long funnel so we will stick it here We will be using this CVT NS2 right over here NS2 then we will start with five of this then we'll be starting the car So that's it. Now let's remove this. Let's put this uh, dipstick. And then let's check uh, where's the label at. that it's on the safe see this uh, uh, like a uh, cut in here and then the second cut should be in here I'll show it again uh, so see this should be in here and then we will be starting the car and then the level should be goes here on hot but for a while let's put on the dipstick on and then let's start the car Now it sounds uh, better. See? I don't hear any. Remember that the uh, ticking sounds? 
I don't care that anymore. Now let's uh, run the car for a few minutes and then we will be checking the dip stick which should be on a, a hot uh, label. Now after like uh, 5 minutes, let's uh, go check the dip stick. Okay, see this? Now it's, it's low. It should be somewhere here. So now we will be adding more fluid. Now we will be checking again the dip stick. Oh, we're almost there. Just a little bit more. We're almost there. It is. Should be in here. Hot. Yeah, it's already on a hot level, so we're just gonna leave the car for a few minutes, another few minutes, and then we will drive it. Okay, let's test drive the car, and of course, there's no more uh, check engine light because we take off the negative battery, but after. I'm gonna show you if this there is still a if there is still a code on it, but I I doubt this normal code. Okay, first drive. Wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. Smooth. Let's put it on to reverse. Wow. Okay. Let's drive it. <laughs> it runs good. It's going for. 2030 40 wow <laughs> it's fixed again that's how you fix a Nissan Versa with a CVT transmission this is the most uh, common uh, problem of a uh, Nissan Versa France good now. So if you encounter, uh, I mean, if you had a had a Nissan Versa and it has a transmission problem like this, like I said, I like I always said on my previous video, uh, open the transmission pan check if it's there's uh, 
uh, what do you call this one? A fragments or a small uh, shiny metal parts. And if it does, and then that's it, your transmission is done. But uh, if there's uh, none of it, then there's still a big chance that you can save your transmission or you can save your car by just, you know, cleaning the transmission filter. The, the two transmission filter, you can replace it if you want to. And just put the NS2 CVT fluid and then I guarantee you it will work. So I hope you could, I mean, I hope you could uh, learn again from this video. And if you have any question, any suggestion, uh, just let me know, comment below. And also please uh, consider like and uh, subscribe my channel, Taishan uh, Mechanic. So that's all for today. Uh, see you next time. Bye bye.